Well, good morning. This is Pastor Hayden, the Lord Lights Devotional. I know that those of you that uh, listen and watch me every day, you don't need to hear that, but I think, you know, somebody might stumble across me for the first time, and if they would open up this video, they might say, what in the world is going on here, and who is that guy anyway? So I like to always say this is a little video devotional that we prepare Monday through Saturday from the study of the Lighthouse Chapel. Call it the Lower Lights Devotional because we do want it to be a time of blessing and a time of inspiration. And this is the pastor of some of you and the friend of many of you. And we're always delighted to spend a few minutes with you. Thinking about uh, today that we have a wonderful, wonderful privilege here in America. And that is uh, living in a land of the open door. Uh, as far as church goes. I mean, we just are free to worship the Lord and and uh, free to assemble ourselves together. Think of Christians in some parts of the world that do not have the privilege of corporate worship. Uh, if they do gather together, they do so in fear of persecution, and yet we can come together in a house of worship without any fear of persecution and find blessing and benefit from being in the assembly of the saints. And so I like to extol the virtues of going to church. I believe that every once in a while, we just need to get on here and tell you how important it is that you avail yourself of this wonderful opportunity and the glorious privilege that is ours of making our way to a house of worship on the Lord's day. I know nobody can force you to go to church. And I'm not saying that if you don't go to church every Sunday, that you must be a pretty rotten person, that you must be evil, and that you're not going to go to heaven. I'm certainly not the judge, and I certainly would not put myself in a position to even uh, indicate that uh, you may be uh, less than what God wants you to be. But I do believe that the Bible makes it pretty clear that we are to worship the Lord. Now, you can worship the Lord every day of your life, every moment of every day. Any time that you give God praise and give him adoration and, and uh, you know, just praise him, well, that's worship. And God delights in the worship of his people throughout every day. I trust that we live a life of praise and that we conduct ourselves in such a way that uh, we are blessing God and and uh, worshiping Him in our lives. But there's that matter of corporate worship. You know, the first day of the week, Jesus set aside. It's a day for people to come together to worship the Lord as the body of Christ. And the apostle said in the Hebrew letter, forsake not the assembly of yourself together. And that admonition is because of the importance that it is that we avail ourselves of the opportunity and the wonderful privilege of coming together to worship the Lord. Now, no one can force you to worship God. No one can force you to go to church. I remember my dad's stories as I was a kid growing up listening to him preach. He had so many stories to tell. Started preaching when he was 15 years old back in the hills of West Virginia and Southern Ohio and across the river there in Kentucky, wherever he could find a place to preach, he hitchhiked around and, and bummed rides and found a place where he could uh, fulfill his calling as a young boy. And one, he tells about one time he was up in the hollers of West Virginia there somewhere and, and filling in, preaching to some little old country church. And, oh, the church was full that day. And, they had a great day. The Lord blessed his preaching and everybody seemed to enjoy it. And at the close of the Sunday night service, dad said, how many would like to just have a week's revival? Just come back every night this week. Well, I think every hand in the house shot up, except one old man that was sitting back in the corner. He had a scowl on his face and he didn't raise his hand. My dad so boldly, and he often said he had more zeal than sense, but he said, well, you all just come back tomorrow night except that one old man back there, and he can just stay home. And you know, that's the way it is. You can just stay home if you want to, but you're going to miss the blessing that God has for you. You're going to miss the benefit of learning more about him, growing in the Lord, 
and uh, becoming more of what he wants you to be. It's important to be in the house of the Lord. Will you join us in the house of the Lord on Sunday? We'll find a place of worship where you can uh, receive the blessing that God has for you through corporate worship. Heavenly Father, thank you for the church today. Thank you for the opportunity that it gives of the family of God coming together to worship. May we value that privilege and take advantage of that opportunity, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. All right, I'll see you tomorrow on Lower Lights Devotional. Goodbye.